Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Ethereal Flying Fish tutorial. And we have our color to the right hand side and our canvas, which is a gradient, uh, a normal linear gradient, moving from top to down 1700 by 1700. Okay, and I have these circles at top just to make life easier for me. But you can create these circles yourself. Just go to the circle tool, hold control and shift to scale up. If you have a fill in there, come down here, remove the fill, hold shift, select the color, and you get the stroke. So I have three of these circles here. And if we can just use the pencil tool for a second here, show you where we're going to highlight. This is going to be this area right here. In fact, let me just scribble that again. That scribble wasn't so good and just scribble right here this is going to be the main body of our fish this area and this area is going to be like the head of our fish so you're going to use boolean modes and get this fish carved out of these three shapes so first up you're going to make sure that this purple is above the blue and we're going to hold shift and select this blue then we're going to path and difference and that will give us a crescent moon shape then we're going to move this circle over to this edge here to the top edge up here and i'm going to go to the bezier tool press b also and we're going to create a path that cuts through the top vertex of the crescent moon then we're going to hold shift, select the circle and the path and go to path and cut path. And this will sever the path by where we cut and we're going to remove the top circle. It leaves us with this. I'm going to line this up. And then we're going to select this, hold shift and the stroke. I'm going to go to path and union. Then we're going to double click this to go to our nodes tool highlight this node right here I'll press delete on our keyboard and then we have two nodes up here so what we're going to do is just going to draw a box around them to select the two nodes and we're going to go to make segments lines and then we have our first look at the fish shape good now that we have this our base we're going to duplicate our base or control and shift and scale down then we're going to flip it on the horizontal axis well, it's actually flip it on the vertical axis but they call it the horizontal flip not sure no. and we're just going to scale it down a bit but let's scale it back up and we get it around here and just rotate it a little bit to the side and this is going to make for our first fin then we're going to duplicate it with Control and D you can find the duplicate in edit also and just going to flip it again horizontal and carry it to the side and lift it up and then rotate it down a bit so they're about touching about here. And you can be more precise when you're doing this for yourself. But it's a tutorial, so I have to do it a bit quicker. And then we're going to hold. Oh, and then we're going to select the two of them, path union, and then we're going to select our unified shape and the sh and the new fish that we've created. And we are going to select the both of them with shift and path union. And that gives us our two fins. Good. So now we have the basic shape of our fish. Next, we're going to move on to its tail. And for this, we're just going to use the Bezier tool. And we're going to create this tail right here. him out and that will give us this tail right here put it blue so that we can see it 
All right. Good. So for the next one, we're going to activate our snap tools. See that snap to path intersection is enabled and cost node snap is enabled. New corners, new. Okay, what's this one? Snap to rectangle corners and cost nodes is enabled. And we are going to create a busier curve to connect to this vertice down here. And then we're going to close that path with the bezier. Just fixing it up so you get a round curve. Then we're going to duplicate this fish body, select our new shape and we're going to go to path and intersection good and that should give us this line right here all right let me just go to fill and stroke it's four so let's just change this to four great stuff okay now we're just going to get our bezier tool and create a shadow for this fish. And you notice we're not actually coloring it in just yet, but just creating our shadows, just creating the lines for where things will go. And we select the two of them and go to path intersection. Let's change this to the color blue. And I think we're set to start coloring this now. So we're going to go into our dropper tool with D. And we're going to select a light blue out here. And we're going to go to our gradient tool, or you can press G. And we're going to bring down our gradient like this and select this blue right here. This, I think it's this blue right here. Good. Next, going to select this place where we made our shadow. I'm going to change this to a blue. I'm going to change this to a blue also. And we're going to lower the selection down. We're going to select our middle that we created right here. And we're going to select this purple or this blue right here, blue purple. And we're just going to use our gradient tool, making sure that we click on the color and we're dragging down. Good. Then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to go to path inset. Yep. I'm going to path inset one more time. And we are going to select this purple right here. And we're going to get the gradient tool, select this purple, click on it, and then pull up. Good. And this makes for the general shading of the fish. So, just going to create a nuts gradient. I'm going to drag this blue down and use a purple down here on the fin. So now we can actually go in there and remove the strokes. Let's select this whole thing and remove the strokes. And we have our fish scale up. And then you can go ahead and play about with the um you can go ahead and play about with the coloring of this fish but in general this is um, almost pretty much complete one more thing that you can do also is just to add a bit of um, flat just add a bit of dimension to it is that we can use our bezier tool 
select this node up here using the magnetic effects of our snap and we're going to bring the snap down here but before we click we want to go to shape ellipse and just double click here now I've already adjusted the size of mine but to adjust your size you can go to path path effects you'll see pattern along path up here and you'll see a width so you change this width to a lower value I used I think one or you can use um, 0 0.5 yeah 0 0.5 is good and then we're going to select this blue up top with the dropper tool you can activate the dropper tool by pressing D or by picking the colors from here just move it out a bit and we're just going to use the gradient tool and carry it down and you can go to path fill and stroke or object fill and stroke and lift the top so that it stands out a bit and from here on out you're just improving the design that you started out with until you get the kind of look that you're going for all right this is the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the next tutorial that's coming in this thursday this is thursday is going to be the tutorial about on boolean modes and how to use them and what they are exactly how to differentiate between them so that you're confident with the outcome remember to check the blog post for the written breakdown of this tutorial but until i see you again get up and design a new door later